What we do here is we enable our adversaries the invaluable opportunity to hear the sound of freedom and provide them the ability to see what true air dominance actually is. So our mission here is to test the Pratt Whitney F100, 220, and 229s. Uh, what we do is we take the fully built engine after it's been torn down and completely rebuilt back up by our propulsion flight, we bring it out here, and we basically test to make sure it is good to go. We'll check everything from vibrations and the bearing areas and all that, to pressures of oil lines and fuel lines, um, and just make sure that it's ready to go and good to be in an aircraft. The T9 in the Hush House is important uh, because we allow the aircraft and uninstalled engines a place to be able to do test runs. They provide you know, a, a safe atmosphere to run the engines out, protected from the elements from the outside, as well as minimizing uh, the sound that these engines produce. We have tests that range anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to three hours and so. Running an engine for that long out here, sometimes multiple times a day, could become a nuisance to you know, the public outside of the space. These are noise suppression facilities, so they do a pretty good job at suppressing that noise. So this specific test facility is very important because A, we can reduce time drastically in the amount of time wasted, you know, setting it up and trying to get it ready to run. And then B, it gives us the ability to test all of the F-100 engines for the F-15s here, but also from, you know, downrange and ascent, like any 16 units that come down, uh, other 15 units, and we've seen engines from all over the world. You know, F-100 engines from every every base that we have, uh, we've seen come through here. And so we're able to take all of that uh, and essentially run it, test it, fix it on the spot, or let the guys know, all our extremely talented maintainers at the back shop, let them know, hey, this is what we found. And then they'll tear into it and then find any other issues and get it greened up. And then now we have another, you know, over a $3 million asset that's good to go for another airplane that can drop some freedom.